Fast food, it's good for speedy, salty satisfaction. But for getting your protein in, it can never be a bodybuilder's happy meal. Until now, this is the Bodybuilder Fast Food Secret Menu. Welcome to our first stop, everybody, McDonald's. This is for the people that know that protein isn't everything, it's the only thing. This 95 gram behemoth of a sandwich will have bodybuilders arching their back like the arches out front. Introducing the morning McMonster. Your standard sausage and egg McMuffin will never be the same. We're swapping the English muffin for a sesame seed bagel. We're adding two chicken patties, three additional sausage patties, three additional eggs, three additional cheese, and of course, three slices of bacon. You guys see this? They're getting prepared to make my sandwich right now. That's gonna be a mighty good sandwich. Yeah, it's my grandma's order, it's crazy, oh, bless yeah. Your heart. 2567 for 95 grams of protein. I think we got something here. So we got, we just, I don't even know, I don't even understand this. I gave her a hard time. It's the morning. I mean, at least she's gonna be ready for the day at this point, right? They're literally huddling up as a team back there trying to understand what I just ordered. One day, she's able to walk in and say, Can I get a morning McMonster? They know exactly what to do. That's the goal. Thank you very much. You cannot wrap it. You can't wrap it? That's fine. No worries. Thank you. Ooh. Well, it smells like they put like an entire petting zoo into a hot pot. It was too big to wrap it, so I had to build it myself. And Darlene tried her heart out out there, and she still managed to get the order wrong. We're missing an egg, but hey, that's okay. Not only does it look unsafe, it feels unsafe. This is only ever something that you have if it's your birthday, if it's your last day, or if it's 11.59 and you're low on protein. If I can successfully wrap my mouth around this thing, it's either gonna blow up my jaw or my DMs. Sausage is just like dominating my mouth right now. And I can't say that's a bad thing. It's also very concerning to say, I can't even taste the bacon. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have wore white today. Wrong outfit choice, but tie dye is going back in. So maybe by the end of the day, we're gonna be there. Why do I think that they probably already have this on the Cheesecake Factory menu? Just very nonchalantly. It's only a couple thousand calories, no big deal. How are you gonna fit your mouth around it? I just did, man. No Look kidding. You wanna see you again? No, I don't, I, don't see need, I don't need to see you eat it, bro. Show me, show me. How, you, yeah. how hard you squish it down, bro. Yeah. All right. Don't think of any other ideas, though. No, I didn't. The only thing in my mind is the sandwich, bro. Yeah, unhinge the jaw a little bit. Mm -hmm. Every bite is like an additional bathroom visit, so I can guarantee you it's worth it. You have to go to the front. It is, yeah. It's called the Morning McMonster. The Morning McMonster. That's a sick name for it's it. A secret, no, it's a secret menu. I didn't make it up. No? No. It's like a big gang bang? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a breakfast gang bang. Yeah, man. I'll fucking enjoy your meal, buddy. Yeah, it looks thank you. 95 grams protein. 95, how many calories? We don't care about that. What is this? This? What are you guys doing? I want to know. I'm just eating. I never see a sandwich like this before. Thank you. Have a great day. Every other customer is here, like looking at me, like their choices are actively healthy. So I think I'm doing a good thing. Like they feel like they're doing the right thing. I look like I have like a, a black belt and avoiding anything green. <laughs> the number one thing is it's not very structurally sound. So every bite, you pretty much have to just rebuild the bad boy before you go back in, which is. Kind of, kind of a nuisance, you know? It's just very heavy, very salty. It will make for a good pump though the next day, probably four days afterwards. But hey, that's just the morning McMonster. Here at AW, it's always a family affair, and this one's about getting a taste of everybody all at once. I've seen a video like this before on porn. Introducing the family reunion, a 100 gram of protein beast. Now I call that generational wealth. We're taking a standard lettuce wrap burger and doing what any bodybuilder should do, add six additional patties. And of course, no cheese and bacon. I feel like a rogue agent just walking in. The rules don't apply to me. Oh, you got a menu? I don't care. The only menu that matters is what's in here. Hi, um, can I do the Papa Burger? Can I get five additional patties on it? I'm trying to bring the whole family together. <laughs> yeah. And then I'll do a, a, a diet root beer. 
$28.55 for 100 grams of protein. Talk about bang for your buck. Heavy, man. This is so heavy. Oh. Oh. Okay. I feel like I'm actually pulling out a freaking animal. Look at that thing. So what we got going on here, we got the Papa Burger, we added the Grandpa Burger, we added the Mama Burger and the Team Burger. The Baby one and the Uncle Burger are not in here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna explain why. We'll just leave it at that. We also got the gravy on the side, which brings us up to 100 grams of protein. So 98 in here, plus two. Oh my God. The crazy thing is though, I ordered this thing and it's like, she's kind of done it before. She didn't seem like remotely startled by it. Just, yep, we can do that. She knows how to wrap. Maybe Chipotle should to poach her. I want to cut this thing in half so I can get a good cross section here for you guys. My knife might get lost. It might get lost in me. Look at that. It's like the Grand Canyon. And I want to explore. Of course, we got the lettuce wrap because, you know, we strive for balance here. And the diet root beer. Gravy's just a liquid hug for your burger. That makes you shake a little bit. My toenails are curling. You know what we're doing here? We're really putting the restaurant's meat on the line. It's so exposed, it might get charged with public indecency, you know? If it's not quality, I'm gonna taste it. If it has mad cow, I'm gonna taste it. How is this not the answer to all the world's problems right now? Like, look at that gravy. It's just like a nice home Thanksgiving meal. I will say, the amount of meat is totally overwhelming, which makes for a fun experience. Any burger you ever have again will seem like it's from the kids' menu. I am enjoying this more than McDonald's. The McDonald's thing made me want to shower with my dad. It was obscene. This, there's just one meat. I'm not getting attacked by multiple all at once. Mm. The family reunion, 10 out of 10. Current status, I definitely need to poo. But we are up on a Taco Bell right now, and when I think of Taco Bell, I think of yet another diluted Mexican import. Definitely not protein. Taco Bell is like the planet fitness of the fast food game because it's a judgment-free zone, but it's definitely not bodybuilder friendly. So I'm introducing to you the Cinco de Polo. The Cinco de Polo consists of two soft shell chicken tacos with five additional chicken and five additional cheese for five times the gains. I think after this meal, I'm gonna be coming out all ends. The Taco Bell slogan is live mass. So hopefully the, the protein's real enough that I can actually add mass too. <laughs> it answers all my questions. Can I please do? the two chicken soft tacos, um, five times the chicken and five times the cheese. And I'll get a, a Diet Pepsi as well. Can you just put it right on top? No. And just like in a box or something? Yeah, in a box. Yeah, I just, on I just put it on a box, I put the like, taco and then- I would be putting inside the taco, but like the rest is gonna be on side. Okay, wash with flour and then put the, instead of wrapping it like that, use the hard shell wrap. What? I'm just ordering, I'm just ordering lunch. What's the camera? He's not, he's not recording. He just identifies as a camera. Okay, this is pretty wild. They gave me a KFC box for my Taco Bell tacos. You don't see that every day. It's like a magician pulling out a rabbit. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, this thing is heavy. All right. Oh my goodness. Chicken's a bit sus, but I mean, it's not every day you go to Taco Bell and just like the meat is just showing off. You see more meat than anything else. So much meat for one taco, I should have called it the porn star taco. Pretty much each taco is 49 grams of protein. And then each taco gets a side of sour cream, which is two grams of protein, making each taco 51 grams of protein for an 102 gram protein meal. Come on. I think I'm going in for my first kiss again. I don't know which way to go here. <laughs> I said gristle pocket, and <laughs> I don't even care. Are we sure that this is chicken? Not entirely. Like it says it out front. Visually, I'm, I'm bound to think otherwise. Like it looks a, 
bit plastic, even though there still is a certain amount of suspense as to what's gonna happen after I have this, I'm very much enjoying this taco. The only thing wrong with it is that it's just not calling me daddy. It's pretty macro friendly. I'd say it's overall pretty balanced on beef. It's chicken, lower calories. You got tomato and lettuce to excite your eye booze, get some different colors going. Can we just take a moment of appreciation that I yet to have any stains on my white top? Me wearing a white top today is like pretty much like me bringing a date to my own wedding. It's just bound to get messy, but we're still doing pretty well. Taste wise, you need the other things to help it go down. But I'd say that's it. I'd have it again and you should try it too. Do you guys think that you've seen a lot of protein? Do you? Well, you've seen nothing yet. This pizza has 69 grams of protein per slice. So not only is it gonna be testing my digestional fortitude, but also the structural integrity of the crust. I went to the Domino's website, scrolled down to the meat, and I just said the limit does not exist. I said yes to every piece of meat like I was giving it a diamond ring. I can guarantee you the worker in there, when they saw that order, they're like, yep, this is for an athlete who has been hit in the head repeatedly. Introducing to you, the Mizza Pizza. When ordering the Mizza Pizza, I suggest calling ahead to see if the delivery boy lifts, because this thing, it's gonna be heavy. Well, that's a lot. Is that the most amount of meat you've ever put on a pizza? Yeah. yeah. This pizza is an extra large thin crust, because we're still trying to watch the carbs. It's triple cheese. We have pepperoni, Brooklyn pepperoni, ham, beef crumble, bacon, double sausage, double chicken, and Philly steak. Thank you very much. Have a good night. You too. Well, oh, that's heavy. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I put it on my shoulder. $57 pizza. How's it going, sir? You want a slice? Oh, thank you. 69 grams of protein. Thanks a lot. Definitely gonna cleanse the car after that one. It smells like a, a butcher shop exploded in there. But I like to think that this pizza is quite the inspirational pizza. With 69 grams of protein, it's making sure that everyone's getting some. So I'm here at my gym right now. We're gonna go in and see if other bodybuilders want a slice of it too. And I mean, there's no protein left in the city, so. <laughs> Time for the big reveal. Oh my God, they really nailed like the cheesy bubbliness that I desire. And I like the fact that they added the cheese on top of the meat, even though it's like a, a heart-stopping amount of cheese, it makes it come across as more like, Approachable, less intimidating. Not so much meat you can see right away. This is like a pizza that you order when you're like down bad and you just wanna like live in that kind of state of mind for a little bit. So you just decide to just do something stupid. Look how thick that layer of cheese is. Okay, here we go. One bite in and I can already feel the walk of shame coming. And I've been told by a lot of people, I got quite the talented tongue but I feel like an old white man, I dim sum. I have no idea what's in my mouth right now, but I'm just gonna keep on going. I had the idea originally, I was gonna do like the stuffed crust, but I think like that'd just be going overboard. So we went with the thin crust. I like to think that bacon makes itself known. It's a hard worker. Whenever it's in a dish, you know it. You don't even taste it here right now. It is a decadent delight. It is a masterpiece. This is something that should be on everyone's bucket list. It's actually incredible. The best thing I've had all day. For real. Yo, Kent, what's your favorite meat? I can guarantee you it's on this pizza. My favorite meat? Your favorite meat, what is it? Steak. Steak? I got it on this pizza. I don't know if I could have pizza. Are you sure? 69 grams of protein per slice. You want a bite? Intro workout carb? I, I can't, man, I wish. Why, what do you mean you wish? You gotta keep the physique, man. You have a vegan in-law that you hate? There are a couple. There, so this is your, this is your moment. I mean, it's tempting. Yeah. But I can't. Okay, I respect it. Thank you. You call yourself a bodybuilder? <laughs> you want a slice? It's 69 grams of protein per slice. Are you sure? I, no, I, I'm not sure, I know. Oh. It's heavy, isn't it? Mm. Yeah? Actually, I don't like pizza. You don't like pizza, but you like that one. Yeah, I like pizza. Yeah, yeah. because it's healthy, because it's thin yeah. crust. Yeah, I just know it's thin and a uh, lot of protein and uh, meat. So it's something you can have every day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Do you want a slice? It's 69 grams of protein per slice. <laughs> you see, do you see his eyes? You, you see his eyes light up? You sure? No, that's because of wheat. What? My eyes are because of wheat. Oh, from wheat? Oh, we're gonna have to cut that out. Do you want one? He's on prep. He's on prep? Yeah. Oh. Do you want to just see it and smell it? You want it, but you can't get it. You can smell it, you can smell it. He's on prep, I'm annoying him. He's getting angry at me. Yo, man, 
You just finished your workout? No, I just got it. You just got here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a slice of pizza? Thank you. 69 grams of protein per slice. Thanks, man. I know it's just, mm, it smells so good. I, just get it. Just got in? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll save one for you, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, it. yeah. Everyone here is so good. What, you're on prep? <laughs> Everyone's on prep at this gym. What's that? How much protein do you think per slice? Five grams. 69 grams. What? Yeah, and it's and it's like thin crust, so you're on prep, you're still good. What? Yeah. You're not kidding. No, I'm serious. I, I swear. Don't you. I swear. I wouldn't lie to you. <laughs> I'm not good at manipulation. Okay. <laughs> this was an epic fail today. Wanting to spread the secrets of finding fast food protein, I shared my creations with the companies themselves and the true tastemakers of the world, Redditors. <laughs> Unfortunately, outside of a couple comments voicing their concerns for my wallet and toilet, my would-be trend found no traction. It's back to the drawing board.